Hi, this is Laverne Rosso. Today I'm going to talk with you about the barnyard pecking order, as I witnessed it at the Orange County Fair. Once upon a time, I was the director of the community groups and industry building. Because one of the key elements of a fair is education, and most of the fair-going public in Orange County had never seen baby chicks hatch, I set up an exhibit that would allow the crowds to stand around and watch chicks hatch. There was a large plexiglass egg-shaped incubator with a light bulb in top to help keep the chick eggs warm. Actually, I had to get those eggs 21 days in advance of hatching time because that's how long the incubation period is for baby chicks. From a human perspective, all baby chicks look alike. But what we discovered was that to baby chicks, there are big differences. It was quite normal to see a large crowd gathering when it was time for chicks to start emerging from their shells. But sometimes there would be an enormous crowd and not too friendly sounds coming from it. At those times, I knew that the barnyard pecking order was in action. When baby chicks first hatch, they all look alike. They really do. But you'll quickly notice that there are some chicks that are at liberty to peck on the ones that are their subordinates. They figure it out. I don't know how. And the subordinates then peck on the next one down the row. And so it goes. They peck in one direction only until sometimes when you hear the crowd going, oh, you know that the end of the pecking order is showing up. If you get that little guy out of there in time, he or she will end up being a perfectly normal chicken, as normal as I could tell. But if you don't, that little chick will get pecked to death. And so it goes. That's what the barnyard pecking order is all about.